Hi guys, today I want to show you my French red lip. The red lip is unapologetic, it's confident, it's assertive and it's powerful. It can completely change your face. If you can find the right formula that works for you, you'll never look back. Icons such as Marilyn Monroe, Rita Hayworth and Phoebe Waller-Bridge know the power of the scarlet lip. Let me show you how to make it work for you. So I've already prepped my skin and I've put some mascara on just to speed things along and I've done my eyebrows. So I've prepped my skin with the Guerlain Pardue, uh, the Precious Light Concealer and the Ico Brow Gel and Chanel Le Volume Stretch. Now with when you're doing your red lip it's really important that the skin has no pink or redness in it but it's still quite real, like it's not a heavy skin. It's really important on keeping the red lip to look cool and not too much. Um, I may put bottom mascara on, I may not. I'm gonna see how the lip looks. I'm gonna start with the lip. I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I have mentioned that my lips are a little bit uneven. So in order to balance them out, I've traced the line with a nude pencil. So when I come to do the red lip, it makes it much easier to go on with the red lip. It's not too scary because it's already got a line there. It's a really good tr trick if you need to sort of adjust your lips a little bit. So I'm going to use the MAC Red Pencil, which is my favourite red, for doing a red lip. I always like to start with this part of the lip. I think it's really important, and it's really important to line the lips. I'm going to fill in with the pencil because this helps the lip stay on. Getting the shape right is really important with a red lip. So you'll probably, I, I mean, I tweak and tweak and tweak, so you'll see that I'll keep tweaking all the way through to get it right. So I like to do a mix of a blue red and an orange red. So I'm using the MAC Ruby Woo, which is a very famous red, and MAC Lady Danger, equally famous. And I like to use both of them together, and I'll show you why. So I always start with the Ruby Woo. Which is, a, which is a matte red. I'm also using the Shuamora square brush, which I find much easier to use for do for lip, for lip. It's really important to get the corners in, to go right into the corner of the mouth. If you do make a little mistake, that's fine. Little Q-tip. So that's the Ruby Woo. You can even pop a bit more of that on. Because it's matte, it doesn't go on as, it goes on a little bit, you have to work it a little bit.
all the time be aware of the shape that you're creating. Have a look at it. Does it look right? Does it look even? So that's the ruby wing. Then I'm going to use the red orange, which is the Lady Danger. I'm going to keep that more into the centre of the lip. Now this kind of it's kind of like a trick of the light, it makes your lips look bigger. This is really important to get that there. I love the mix of these two colours. I have to say. Everyone I've ever put this lip on loves it. It always looks amazing on them. So use the brush to create the shape. Because it's square. So there, that's looking good. I'm gonna do one extra little trick. This is, um, oops, dropped it. Uh, a MAC pigment in orange. And I just like to put a tiny little bit in the center, again, to create that fullness. Adds extra dimension to the lip. You just let that settle down. So I'm now going to work on the eyes and cheeks. Um, I always like to use beige pencil for this look because, it's, as I said before, it's nice not to have any sort of pink within the eyes or the skin unless you're obviously you're adding a little bit of blush to the cheek and that's fine. So just a little bit of beige pencil though, which I always just think makes everything look really nice and sort of done. And then I'm just going to use this Chanel contour pen just to create a little bit of shadow in my eye uh, and just to push the eye back a little bit. Just use the brush just to blend that in, just to create a shadow. Give me a little bit of eye. And the same on this side. Don't have to be too neat with it, too precise. Again, just nestle the brush into the socket line, move it back and forth until it blends in. I mean, these um, pens are, are creamy and they blend really easily. You could even do it with your finger. They're very easy to use. I mean, you'd probably do mascara afterwards, so I've just done it for speed. And then I always just think detail is really important with looks. I'm going to use this Burberry highlighter pen. I'm just going to put it into the inner corner of my eye. And then a tiny little bit here to highlight. Ooh. Dropping things today. And then I'm just gonna this is a this is a Burberry eye contour pen in copper. I'm just gonna run that underneath the eye. Again, these are really easy to use. It's just opening up the eye a little bit and adding a little bit of sparkle. And then again across the top. On the eye, it's a little bit of this. It's a Chanel sparkly eyeshadow that are really nice. They're really light. Just gonna pop a little bit on the lid. So I do like a little bit of sparkle. Just put it on with your finger. You can put it on with the brush. It's 
really simple. Just keep it on the lid, all the way on the lid. And then I'm going to use the Chanel Balm Essential in Transparent and just pop that onto the eyelid as well. So it's kind of like a, a balmy, glossy eye. Pop that on with your finger. Again, really easy to use, but it just creates a sort of glittery, sparkly, beautiful eye that goes really well with the lip. The contrast of the lip and the eye is really pretty. There, as you can see. I don't think I'm going to bother with bottom mascara. I don't think it needs it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to contour my face, but not, actually I prefer the word shape. I think contour is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of almost like a dirty word, like a dirty mark on your face. This is a Burberry contour pen, it's medium. And it creates a really nice shadow and it's slightly ashy in tone, which is what a contour, if you are going to contour, that's the colour it should be. So I just tend to do this just to create some shape in my face. And these blend in really easily. I don't need to do too much up here because I've got a really small forehead. You can do the jawline as well. You can blend it in with your fingers or you can use a brush. I'm going to use a brush. So if you contour underneath your jawline, it gives you a good jawline as well. But as you can see, this just blends in seamlessly. You can't really see it because you don't want to have too much with this look because you've already got the lip going on. So it's about the lip. You don't want to take the attention away from the lip. It's all about the mouth all about the lips. So you can see I've got a little bit of shape in my face and a little bit of colour but not too much. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the Lady Danger on my finger like this, spread it between the two and just put it on the apples of the cheeks which looks quite strong but just keep blending it in so it just gives you a little bit of colour. And again, just blend with the stibble brush and keep blending because it does look quite strong. But makeup just settles into the skin. It'll start to settle. Never panic. Blending is your best friend. So there, you can see it's just starting to settle. It just gives you just a little bit of colour with the red lip. And then I'm just going to take some of the Tom Ford highlighter, which I absolutely love. It's a really lovely, soft, natural highlighter. And just paste that on the top of the cheekbones, just for a little bit of an extra glow. As you can see, got a little bit of a highlight on there. Because it's all about the glow. And again, on the top here. And I might even just add just a tiny bit to the apples as well, so that when you turn you get a little bit of a cheeky glow from there. Just going to give the brows one final groom. That Ico brow gel has really done quite a lot for my brows, because I've got really blonde brows, so just adding a tiny little bit of uh, colour really fills them out. But you don't want to have those the brow doesn't want to be too prominent if you've got the lip on because you really want to be sort of focusing on the lip. I mean, actually, if it was kind of like an editorial look, you might bleach the brows out. But just the lip, it looks really nice. So, this is the look finished. Do you want to keep it really light on the eyes, really open, just a little bit of colour in the cheek, and have the main focus on the lip because it is all about the lip. French. So I've just sorted my hair out and this is the final look with the lip and the eye. I hope you like it. Have a go and let me know how you get on. Thanks for listening and stay safe.